point on my screen. Okay, there. Hi, I'm Denise Boudreaux Scott, president of Drive, and I am here with Danielle Diamond, who has the most fabulous name ever, by the way, um, who is founder of Zen Strength Yoga. And um, she is going to be uh, helping us today in our uh, quest to spread love, not germs, and um, help give us a little bit of grounding right now and find some peace in ourselves so we can share that with others. And I'm going to hand it over to Danielle, who is a fellow uh, hockey mom in Manitowoc, New Jersey. Uh, with, that's how we met. Uh, but we're, I guess we're both not technically hockey moms anymore. Both of them graduated, but uh, that's what brought, uh, brought us together. And uh, I'm going to hand it over to you, Danielle. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for having me, Denise. I think, uh, you know, what you're doing here to help everybody find some peace and grounding at this time is so helpful. There's so many people out there who are just, you know, in this state of they don't really know what is going on and how to handle it. And I know for a lot of people that you work with, um, they're so used to take care, taking care of everybody else that they're not taking care of themselves. And you know, on top of being in the healthcare field and taking care of patients, they're also probably you know still mothers, still aunts, still sisters, still still um, children who are maybe taking care of their parents too. So they have a lot on their plate right now, worrying that about everybody trying to stay healthy and also not even healthy physically, but mentally too, right? Because there's so many people who are feeling fear and anxiety about what's going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two hands up. All different reasons, right? Yeah. Like some yeah. people are worried about running out of their favorite, you know, like cocktail mixer. And some people are like, you know, worried about really, you know, getting sick and, and, and you know, it being a real problem. So um, there's like anxiety on every level so we can't judge, right? Um, but I think that, um, you know, as long as, we are taking care of ourselves, we're a lot more helpful to, to and be able to, we're able to take care of everybody else. And there's a reason why they say, you know, put on your oxygen mask first, right? Because if you're not grounded, you really can't help others be grounded and stay healthy. So I wanted to share with you one of my favorite meditations. I've been teaching a lot in my, um, my virtual classes because our studios are closed too. We're not teaching in person anyway. And they all teach us yoga te uh, teacher, teaches yoga teachers around the world. Yeah. But, yeah. So that's what you're going to teach us today. It's called a loving kindness meditation. And basically we first start, there's a, a, a four, four line mantra that we repeat and it's, may I be healthy? May I be happy? May I be safe? May I be at peace? Mm -hmm. And the first round we start with ourselves, right? Because even though it's hard to give ourselves self-love a lot of times again we need that grounding in ourselves to be rooted to be able to give it to other people Perfect. so the first round is for us so we're going to practice this with you you're going to walk me through it yes we're going to walk i'm going to walk you through it then the second round is to someone that's easy to love your child your spouse your parent your best friend the third round is for someone who's neutral. You know, you like them, but they're not, you know, you're not a great friend of theirs. It could be your barista or your postman uh, or postwoman. Um, and then the third round or the fourth round, which is a little bit more challenging, <laughs> is to someone that is harder to love. You know, someone that you really don't have any nice feelings for. Um, or, you know, as I was explaining to you before when we were just chatting, it like it could be to the virus. You could be thinking of just the state of the world right now and that's hard for you to accept, you know? So it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It could be a situation that you're finding. Right. To accept, right? So I'll walk you through it. I'll say one or two rounds uh, with you and then I want you to just do one or two rounds by yourself and then we'll go on to the next um, person or thing. Perfect. Okay. So first off, just find a comfortable seat. So whether it's seated, you know, if you're at work, this is a great, you know, you'll, you'll give this to people where the, it'll be recorded, right? So it's not just a one-time thing. You can keep this on your desktop and do this every day, quite frankly, when you feel you need to be grounded, right? So just close your eyes and find that comfortable seat. Just let your shoulders relax down your back. Rest your hands on your thighs or somewhere that's comfortable so that there's no tension. And just take a couple grounding breaths first. So as you inhale, bring the breath all the way into the upper chest, fill the lungs completely. And then exhale everything out until the navel contracts. Inhale, deep breath, fill up, expand and exhale everything out. 
One more like that, big breath in, fill up the rib cage, expand the upper chest, and exhale everything out. And then on the inhale, you'll silently repeat to yourself, may I be happy, may I be healthy, and on the exhale, may I be safe, may I be at peace. Inhale, may I be happy, may I be healthy. Exhale, may I be safe, may I be at peace. And then just do a couple rounds on your own, following your breath. One more, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, may I be at peace. And then just take a big neutral breath in. Exhale it out, get that, that person in your mind that you love and you care for, that's easy to send love to. And then on the inhale, may they be happy, may they be healthy, Exhale, may they be safe, may they be at peace. Picturing this person in your mind. Inhale, may they be happy, may, I, may they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe, may they be at peace. And a couple rounds on your own, picturing that person in your mind. One more round, may they be happy, may they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe, may they be at peace. And just take a big deep breath in, fill up. And on the exhale, imagine that person that's neutral. So someone that you come into contact during the day, it could be even be a coworker that you really like, but it's not, you know, you don't have a, a real solid relationship with, someone that's just neutral. And on the inhale, imagine that person. May they be happy. May they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe. May they be at peace. Inhale, may they be happy. May they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe. May they be at peace. A couple more rounds at your own pace. One more for that person. Inhale, may they be happy. May they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe. May they be at peace. Imagining that person or that situation or that thing in your life that's hard to send love to, that's hard to accept. Have that in your mind and inhale. May they be happy. May they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe. May they be at peace. Inhale, may they be happy. May they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe. May they be at peace. And a couple more rounds at your own pace. And one more for that person. Inhale, may they be happy. May they be healthy. Exhale, may they be safe. May they be at peace. 
And then just take another grounding breath. Inhale, fill up, expand the chest all the way. And exhale everything out. One more, inhale, fully expand. And exhale everything out. And then inhale, open your eyes. Thank you. How do you feel? That feels wonderful. <laughs> I, felt, I felt so good. I feel as, as I'm recording these that I am getting uh, as much out of them as anybody else is going to get out of them. Um, Danielle, thank you for taking the time so welcome. For me and for the people that are working in aging services. And I'm sure lots of other people that will watch it as well because anybody can benefit from them. And Great. I love you and I thank you. And Thanks for having me. Okay. Oh.